the current system of education, with its Western style and content, was introduced and founded by the British during the British Raj, following recommendations by the British officer, who advocated for the teaching of English in schools. Traditional structures were not recognized by the British government and have been on the decline since. Public education expenditures in the late 19th and early 20th centuries varied dramatically across regions with the western and southern provinces spending three to four times as much as the eastern provinces. Much of the inter-regional differential was due to historical differences in land taxes, the major source of revenue. Education in New Zealand began with provision made by the provincial government, the missionary Christian churches and private education. The first Act of Parliament for Education was passed in 1877 and sought to establish a standard for primary education. Even with knowledge, relevant distinctions or correct conclusion about similar cases may not be made suggesting more information about the context would be required, which alludes to different degrees of understanding depending on the context.
It was compulsory for children to attend school from the age of 6 until the age of 16 years. In Australia, compulsory education was enacted in the 1870s, and it was difficult to enforce. People found it hard to afford for school fees. Moreover, teachers felt that they did not get a high salary for what they did. The fastest expansion of primary schooling in the history of the Soviet Union coincided with the first five-year plan. The motivation behind this rapid expansion of primary education can largely be attributed to Stalin's interest in ensuring that everyone would have the skills and predisposition necessary to contribute to the state's industrialization and international supremacy goals. In the organization of a planned society in the Soviet Union, education is regarded as one of the chief resources and techniques for achieving social, economic, cultural, and scientific objectives in national interest. Tremendous responsibilities are therefore placed on Soviet schools, and comprehensive support is provided for them. Like, share and subscribe the channel for upcoming videos and also press the bell icon for notifications.